This is the first time I'm going on a trip like this. Only me, Rosie, and a special guest. Woo! Let the adventure begin. I'm so excited. What is going on my freaky friends? This is King Julian reporting to you fully loaded from our beautiful motorway uh, and today, hello! Today I'm going for a girl very nice, a girl on the Rebel 500 cool but I'm not going for a girl today <laughs> today I'm going for the very first really long trip on Rosie and my destination will be Orava, which is a beautiful piece of land in uh, the north of Slovakia. Everything you can imagine. Mountains, bears, bad weather, strong alcohol, people, churches, beautiful land. And Julia actually, ah, yeah, we, one could tell she comes from there because her family, her parents and her whole family basically comes from Orava. It's kind of a back to the roots trip. Julia is already there and I said this time I need to go by bike because um, it's just it's so beautiful and I always wanted to admire the beautiful land from uh, the saddle of this beautiful beast but it's gonna be a long long journey it's three hours six minutes um, the max I did by now like without a break would be two hours I think and we did also full day trips, but you know, we would stop at places, eat and blah, 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 blah. I'm not planning to do that today. I'll maybe have a quick McDonald's, but the goal is to be there as soon as possible. Okay, but before we kick off this beautiful trip, I do have a confession to make. Um, yeah, I did a bad thing, a really bad thing. Long story short, I got drunk. Short story, a little longer. Uh, I got drunk and I was being stupid as I usually am when I get drunk. So we went to this bar, a bar that I know, uh, owned by very nice people. We're having our last drinks, leaving the bar, and I noticed a dog sitting in a chair, a toy dog, which looked very realistic to me at least in my drunk head. So, without thinking much, I nonchalantly grab the dog and leave the bar. <laughs> and then I wander with the, with the dog under my arm through the city center. I name him Barney because it makes perfect sense. Actually, it does make perfect sense. I met him at the bar. Barney! Woo! Man, I'm a genius. It, it just occurred to me now and I'm a, I'm a freaking genius. So me and Barney having a great time, having a like best night ever in a cab. I offer him my face mask and everything. So like a true bromance. We crash at my place, go to sleep, wake up in the morning and I got a dog. Guys, of course, I know this is terrible what I did. I actually stole somebody's property and there's no excuse for that. Of course, I want to return Barney. But first of all, I wanted to, you know, give it a meaning. I didn't want it to be just like, hey, I got drunk, stole your dog, but here it is. So I came up with this idea. I have some trips planned for this year, for this season. And I was thinking, well, why not take Barney with me? He would have fun. He would probably have time of his life because he was a, a house dog, you know, just in the bar never experienced anything and why wouldn't I make an album out of that like take pictures of Barney in various interesting places and then return Barney to the bar with the album so that the owners see that I've been taking good care of him so that's the plan and maybe you can see him now maybe not but I think you can um, Barney's behind me yeah so this is the first trip we're having together with my dog Barney 
and I'm so excited about it. And we left Bratislava a couple moments ago, so bye bye Bratislava. Hello world. Looking forward to meeting you. Whoa, what a what a lovely car. That's cool. <laughs> what the hell is that? Very nice, nice, nice. And I have a dog. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Dobrý deň, Peťku vás poprosím. Uh, áno, ešte... Ešte toto. Lunge of Champions. So we stopped here and I think I'll have something proper to eat. The traffic jam is still going on, I don't know what's happening there. But I know I need a little bit of rest. So we have one and a half hours to go. And I'm uh, two hours in the saddle of this beautiful red beast. and. I can tell you I'm starting to feel slight discomfort in my lower back and there's not much I can do about it so this break is very much needed but again it's nothing nothing terrible nothing I couldn't deal with it's just that you know I'm not in a hurry which is great so I'm taking a little break now I got some kick-ass food. This is actually way more than what I expected. I really thought you would end up with one ice cream <laughs> at the gas station. But I found this nice place, Motel Skalka. Uh, and I actually loved everything about it. Very nice place, the food is nice. The service is great, so I can only recommend if you're on your way to uh, Kisuce or Chatsa, as I am right now, then make sure to pass by. By the way, Barney is not complaining. He's a good fella, I like him. Very quiet but friendly, not envious when I eat. <sighs> yep, it's a good partner. Oh, oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. This is a nice gesture. Thank you. Beautiful. 
We're almost there. Uh, the navigation says one and a half hours. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> we need to be there an earlier. Definitely earlier. Thank you. Wow. Nice people here. I feel like a celebrity. Thank you very much, sir. Very kind. Why such a traffic jam? Man, I had my food and everything and this is still jammed. Is this because of the traffic lights? <laughs> oh, look! They... what? They serve Prosecco. Like a big sign, we serve Prosecco. Okay, good for you. Although I imagine it's not very usual in this part of Slovakia. I would assume this part is more uh, like a spirit part, by which I don't mean that people are more spiritual than in other parts of Slovakia. I mean, they drink spirits, mostly. final stage of our today's adventure and I hope it will be as epic as I remember it and as epic as I imagine it to be on a motorcycle I don't want you to see only me so I hope this angle will be fine <sighs> let's see